Hey YouTube, opinionative reviewer here, bringing you guys a nice little toy review. And I'm saying toy because it's under the toy section in CDA, so I'm going to say toy, but it's an emulator. So yeah, let's say a toy emulator review. <laughs> it's by Ben, I'm going to say Ben, don't know how to pronounce that whole name, so let's just call the developer Ben for now. And it's in the Big Boss repo for free. And some of you probably weren't subscribed to me way back when, when I did a review on i android it was basically the same thing as this but it was a utility emulator that allowed you to emulate the android operating system on your ios device without it taking over your device like dream boy you see how dream boy takes over your device that was basically like an app and you can just launch it and boom you were right into the android operating system now this is similar but this one is for windows instead so when you install it Nothing was added in settings. There's nothing to be configured. You get a little app right here. You can see you have the I, the Windows sign right there, and it says I Windows on the bottom. All you gotta do is just launch that, and you can see the loading screen looks just like Windows as well. And you have a nice little UI here. It looks pretty cool. Doesn't have much function, but it look it looks nice. And we only have about three things. We have Notepad. We have Info. And we have Google Chrome. Here is the startup menu. You could just check in there. You can launch the same things from your startup menu. We don't need that. So let me just show you guys a couple of these things. It doesn't have much features, but what it does have work to an extent. So let me just type something here. And as you can see, the spell checks work. I type, what's good, YouTube? What's good? What's good? You just hit space and the spell check works fine. You can minimize that. You can exit out, but it's not going to delete what you typed. And, but you can't maximize it as in to put it full screen. So that's the notepad right there. We're going to hit the info tab. And the info tab just has a little bit of information telling you about the app and the developer. You can follow him on Twitter if you choose to do so. And last but not least, we have the Google Chrome browser. So let me just go and search something here pretty quick. And the web browser seems to be pretty fast. It's much faster than my Safari on my iPhone. Let me just open up something here. And see that loads pretty fast. Everything loads up. I'm going to try to play this Flash video and see if it plays. Oh, awesome the video plays also and it doesn't redirect to your YouTube app so yeah the video plays and it doesn't have to redirect to your YouTube app it just plays inside the browser that's one cool thing you can also minimize this let's minimize that you can exit out it's not gonna delete what's what you already searched for but you can't you can't open a new tab right here you see I'm trying to open a new tab I can't do that but I can search something else in that same tab now the keyboard is stick right here. Let me see if I can get that back down. And yeah, not much to really show you guys about this. It doesn't have that much feature. And when you want to come back out to your iDevice, you just tap the home button and it automatically close out. So it doesn't take over your iDevice. You can switch between the Windows and the iOS, which is cool. I think it's basically just for showing off. You can show people that you have... Windows Phone 7 on your iDevice, just like with iAndroid, when you could have show people you have the Android operating system on your iOS device. And that's basically it. It's called iWindows in the Big Boss repo for free. It's a matter of preference if you want to check it out or not. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. iDevice Daily Talk.